Okay, we're here at the beginning of chapter three, lesson 3.1, and we're going to take a look at the relationships between uh, lines. So uh, our goal is to identify those relationships uh, between lines, um, pick out lines that fit specific relationships. So we need to start building our vocabulary. So if we take a look at our first word, we have parallel line. Now I'm sure there are very few of you that have no idea what this means, but the definition um, that we're going to look at is um, two lines that lie in the same plane. So now we're going to start talking about um, two dimensions and looking at our plane. Um, so we can have our horizontal, we can have our vertical planes. But they have to lie in the same plane and they do not intersect. So we're going to see often our two line drawn side by side. And then on those lines, we'll have like with a little triangle that they have filled in on those lines, little arrows almost. And these arrows here, that's what denotes parallel lines. And that's definition of lines. And that's two lines that lie in the same plane and intersect to form um, a right angle or what we know as a 90 degree angle. And so to show that two lines are perpendicular, they just give us that 90 degree angle symbol. So we see that box there in the corner. Um, the third type of relationship that we'll look at are skew lines. And those are two lines that do not lie in the same plane and do not intersect. And so what I want you to think of is like a box. So if we have a box, I should insert in a box here, but you'll get to see one of my lovely drawings. So if we had a box, and so if we had a line running vertically on this plane, and if we had a line running horizontally on the other side of the box, those two lines would never intersect. If I put my hand on the right-hand side of the box, if I put my hand on the left-hand side of the box, my hands are never going to intersect because they are in two separate planes. And so skew lines don't necessarily have to look parallel. They can look like intersecting lines, but because we now have dimension, we have the left and the right-hand side of the box, we can have these two lines that are not necessarily running in the same direction, but are still not intersecting. And that's what our definition of skew is. Parallel planes are just two planes that do not intersect. And so we saw, um, I believe we saw this before, um, we would draw parallel planes. I think we called them just simply two planes that do not intersect. So if we think of the front of the box, and then the back of the box, so those two planes do not intersect the top of the bottom or the left or the right hand side. And then lines perpendicular to a plane. So a line that intersects a plane at a point and is perpendicular to every point on that line, uh, or to every line in that plane, I'm sorry. So what you'll see is you'll see your line intersecting. So we'll have the line coming in, we'll hit a point, and we've got the dash line where it doesn't show. And then what it's going to do is it's going to put that 90 degree angle on there. And so once we see that 90 degree angle, once we see this mark, then we know that the line is perpendicular and it's going to be perpendicular to every line in that plane. All right, so let's take a look at what they want us to do with that. We want to be able to identify parallel and perpendicular lines. So tell whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we're going to first look at lines N and M. So I'm looking at N and M. N and M are what we would say as being parallel to each other. If we take a look at the next column they want me to look at, they want me to look at P and Q. If I take a look at angles P and Q, P and Q, um, I'm sorry, not angles, lines, P and Q. So we have P and we have Q. Well, there's no special symbols there. Um, there's not a parallel symbol, there's not a perpendicular. So this is what we would say as neither. And then if we take a look at N and P, so we're back to P. So we'll kind of erase what we've got up there. We're looking at N 
and P, that's where we see that 90 degree angle. And so they're considered perpendicular. All right. So the follow up to that is how do you know that the statement is true? How did I know N and M were parallel? I'm going to go to split screen so we can take a look at those um, together. How did I know that N and M were parallel? Well, the reason I knew is because that the lines had the triangle marks on them. The lines and their marks um, with the triangles. So those little triangles that we talked about show um, parallel. How did I know that N and P were perpendicular? Well, we talked about that when we did the problem. N and P were perpendicular because the right angle was marked. Um, how do I know that N and Q are not parallel? So if we look at N and Q, how do I know that they're not parallel? Well, one, they're missing the mark. But two, if I keep extending those lines, they intersect. So if we extend lines, they intersect. And how do I know that N and Q are not perpendicular? So how do I know that N and Q are not perpendicular? Um, well, N and Q do not intersect. So when we extend them, they do not intersect at a right angle. So we're just using the descriptions of the words, the definitions, and using our indicators that show us parallel and perpendicular. All right, so now we have to identify these skew lines. Um, lines um, are skew if they um, lie in different planes and they do not intersect. So if we take a look at F and G, if we're taking a look at F, and if we take a look at G, F and G are not skew lines because they intersect. Okay, F is not on the plane that we see here. It's not on this plane. F is cutting through it. We can see where it intersects, and then we can see the marks that show that it's hidden. But it does intersect at G, so we know they cannot be skew because they intersect. They don't necessarily have a special type of intersection. They just intersect. But if we look at F and H, now I need to be careful here because I'm not going to draw that hidden mark because that hidden mark is behind the plane. F is on top, so it's like sticking a pencil through your paper. It only hits the paper at that one point. So F and H are considered skew lines because they are on different planes. And they do not intersect. So you guys need to do the checkpoint. Um, we'll check that over in class. I want you guys to find parallel lines. Remember, you're looking for the little triangles. Name a pair of perpendicular lines. You're looking for that 90 degree angle mark. And skew lines, you're looking for non-intersecting lines. OK, so this is going to be a um, check in class. Not a do in class, but this is a check in class. All right, we now need to look at identifying the relationships in space. So now we're looking at three-dimensional. If we think, look at this diagram um, here, we kind of think of this as the top of our box. We can think of this as the bottom of our box. We don't have the side that's put in there. So we want to name a plane that appears to be parallel to B. 
Well, there's only two planes that we have marked here. So plane C is the one that appears to be parallel. Like I said, it's the top and the bottom of a box. And if you think of the top and the bottom of a box, they never intersect each other. The sides intersect the top and the bottom, but the top and the bottom never come together. Otherwise, it's a pretty useless box. I now need to look at a line that is perpendicular to B. So I'm going to focus in on plane B, and I'm finding a line that intersects it at a 90 degree angle. So if we look through here, it appears that line L is perpendicular to plane B. So once again, we're using those definitions of what we know, parallel never intersecting, perpendicular intersecting at 90 degrees, and using that right angle symbol for that intersection. So in example three, is line L perpendicular to plane C? Explain. Well, yes. And that would be because line L and line N are perpendicular. Okay? And so if we go back and look at that diagram, if L is perpendicular to N on that plane, if L is perpendicular to N, then it's perpendicular to the whole plane. Is line N perpendicular to plane C? Well, if we look at this, line N doesn't intersect it. Line N actually lies on the line, so no. Because line N lies on plane C, or lies in, I should say. We don't like on the plane, we like in the plane. Alright? So your last problem is the checkpoints. So let's take a look at these. We need to name a line that is skewed to VW. So I'm going to highlight VW. What I'm looking for is a line not on this plane. So I'm looking at this plane. I'm looking for a line that does not intersect that um, line. So there's quite a few options here. Um, I need to be able to name one. So for example, TX is on a completely different plane. VW is on the back. TX is on the front. So I could say TX, use your line symbol, is skewed to it. If I take a look at um, I can't name the top of the box because there's no point there. But if I look over here, um, line QR is skewed to that because it's on a different plane. It's on the top. This was on the back and the side. And they do not intersect. So QR, use your line symbol, so line QR. And just like QR does, then TS would also. So line TS is skewed to that. I cannot use, I want to guess reiterate that, I cannot use something like uh, SW because SW is going to intersect that. Okay? I cannot use RS because RS and VW are both on the back side of that box. They're both on the same plane, which would make those parallel lines. So you got to be careful that it's not just that they're intersect, not intersecting each other, but you also have to make sure that they're not parallel. All right, for number five, we need to name a plane that appears to be parallel to VXW. So I need to find VXW, which is this plane right here. Um, think of it as the side of your box. All the sides intersect that, except the opposite side. So that would be plane, and we just need to use two letters, so QRS would work. Um, we could use TRS, any combination of the letters that you want. And then we need to find a line that is perpendicular to plane VXW. So once again, we're focusing on VXW. I'm looking for the 90 degree angle, which is right here. So the line that connects with that um, plane right there is SW. That's in the back of the box. If we look at plane VWX, 
there's a perpendicular in the front, and so Tx would also work. So line Tx. If we look on this, um, go back to VXW, and we look at, um, let's see, the top of the box here. All right, we intersected at nine degree angles right here. Unfortunately, we don't have a point there, so we can't name that. So it looks like SW and TX are our only options. Um, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you come to class tomorrow with any questions that you may have.